Well, uh, well, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday here, hon. You can have the rest of those. Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. Gang, we have a really good one for you today. It's going to make a lot of sense. Stay tuned. Listen up. This one's going to be really, really good. It's about the proper way how to fish rockfish. I'm going to give you a little bit of background about why this is going to make sense to you. And then, so just listen for a few seconds and we'll get going. It's going to be a good one, I promise you. So I started fishing rockfish when I was in 1974. I went out on my very first rock cod trip with one of the captains that worked for my father out of Dana Orr Sport Fishing. Before that, I had been fishing on all the boats with my dad since I was three years old. And you throw your line in the water, you have instant gratification, you get to fish and fish are biting and things are happening and they anchor the boat up and you get to fish and all that stuff's happening. Then I go rock fish fishing, never done it before. They call it rock cod back then. Get on the boat. We're using a four pound weight, 10 hooks. We get to the spot and the captain says, let him go. You throw your rock cod weight or your four pound weight over the side and all 10 hooks and it goes screaming down to the bottom and it gets to the bottom and it hits the bottom. And me as a young man, it seemed like the minute it hit the bottom, the captain's all, okay, wind them up. We got to get back on them again. I'm like, Jesus, we don't even get to fish. Wind that thing all the way back up. Back then we were fishing four to 600 feet of water. You wind it all the way up, you'd have a couple of fish on there. I'd be like, God, I just want to fish. Why are we moving again? We just got here. I just want to fish. I'm sure a lot of you are the same way when you go rockfish fishing. You're like, God dang it, we got to move again? What the hell's the deal? Well, gang, I'm going to let you know. That's how it seemed like to me when I was a young man. And I'm sure it seems like that to all of you. But here's the deal. Most of the spots that you're fishing when you fish for rockfish are very, very small. Some of them are the tide size of your uh, living room. And that would be a big spot. Some of you, it's the size of your kitchen table. And that's going to be where those fish are. Listen, we're drifting on these fish. So by the time your line gets down to them, the boat's probably already off the spot. You're going to get one drop with an eight ounce weight and two hooks. It hits the bottom, you get a bite, and now you're off the fish, or you didn't get a bite because you missed it, and you didn't get to them on time. It's super imperative to be ready when you come up to the spot to fish rockfish, especially those of you on a private boat. It, and I, the reason why I'm talking about this right now is because I had a couple of clients, and I know you're listening, that called me up on Saturday and they're like, Captain Dave, can you give us one spot by Dana Point? We want to catch a rock cod. Can you give us one spot? I'm all, yep, here you go. I gave them one rockfish spot. I texted them the numbers. An hour later, they called me up and they said, Captain Dave, we're not catching anything on it. I said, okay, listen, here's how these spots work. And I forgot that I don't talk about this enough on the show and I need to talk about it more so that more of you understand how this whole rockfish thing works because for the next couple months, that's what we're gonna be fishing is rockfish because the water's cold, the surface fishing's not that good right now. We have some squid, we have some stuff like that, but it's more rockfish, rockfish, rockfish. So what you need to understand is those numbers on my website, the, the rockfish numbers, they're precisely right on top of that little hard bottom or that little rock. It's going to be imperative if you want to catch rockfish that you have enough weight to make it to the bottom right when you're on top of it. And you also have to make sure that when you're pulling up to these rockfish spots, you're not so much looking for fish on your fish finder. What you're doing is you're looking for the numbers on your GPS when it says how far to go and those numbers come together, you drive into the spot and the spot and it says zero, zero, zero to go. That means you're right on top of them. You need to tap the boat in reverse, stop the forward momentum, look at your GPS again. If it says zero, zero, zero to go to the spot, that means you're on it, drop. Right then, drop, get your line to the bottom as quickly as you possibly can. 
six ounce, eight ounces of lead, or maybe a flat ball or a knife jig or something like that, or a carnata, something that's going to sink quick, right straight to the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, bite, 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 set the hook, slowly wind it up. Don't, I see a lot of people jerking and winding, jerking and winding. You don't do that rockfish fishing. If you want to jerk, oh my gosh, the, you, yeah, it's probably because you're married. But you don't need to jerk when you're rockfish fishing. Set the hook, slowly turn the handle. I know. It's that, what well, uh, uh, I want to jerk. I jerk. I always jerk it. Well, that's because you're married, so calm down. If you want to catch rockfish, set the hook once, turn the handle. Slow and steady. I like to lean my rod on the rail and just crank them up. Put my hand on top of the reel. Guide the line back and forth with my fingers and just slowly wind them up. Bring my two rockfish up to the top, unhook them, throw them in the bag. Look at my GPS, see how far I am off the spot. Also, gang, super important to have your track line on when you're rockfish fishing because you may think you drifted to the south, but then when you look at your track line, you go, oh my gosh, I actually drifted to the north. Even though the wind was blowing north to south, I drifted straight into the wind. It happens every single day. It happens all the flipping time. The thing that blows my mind is how we used to be able to uh, figure it out when we didn't have GPS. Yeah, that's how long I've been rockfish fishing. We didn't have a GPS. We had to drop on the spot. And back then, we actually marked fish on the spot. Nowadays, you don't seem to mark as many fish as we used to mark. But you do see the hard bottom, and you want to drop right on top of it and get your line down to the bottom as quick as you can. But what I see a lot of people's problems that they do, too, is when they're drifting on the spot and they're catching rockfish, then they just nilly-willy drift for 20 minutes. They're nowhere near the spot. These spots are small. And you drift off them immediately. So it's super imperative to hit the spot, catch your fish, drive your boat back to the spot, stop, drop back down again. Oh, gang, I forgot it's Baja Jerky Monday. Every Monday we talk about a Baja Jerky product. We're talking about the dried mango from Baja Jerky right now. This stuff is incredible. Go to BajaJerky.com. Check out all the different flavors, the salsa fresca, the beef sticks, the sweet orange. Check out any of the stuff. We're talking about the dried mango right now. This stuff's incredible. And it, I love it. And you know who else loves it? Marley, my monkey. He absolutely loves it. And my wife, Kelly, you know, she loves the salsa fresca. When you're at the BajaJerky.com website, type in the code YSWG and the number 30, you'll save 30% on your order. So go to BajaJerky.com and order up some Baja Jerky. You're going to want to have it on your boat. You're going to want to have it in your car especially if you start fishing and using all of my techniques at yoursaltwaterguide.com. You're going to need that protein because now you're actually going to start catching fish. But this rock, back to what we were talking about, this rockfish thing is super important, gang, to be on the spot. If you fish on the spot and only fish on the spot and move and go back to the spot, you will get your limit of rockfish very, very quickly. All the numbers... The hundreds of rockfish numbers on our website, yoursaltwaterguide.com, they're all made to be fished the way I just said. If you're looking with your fish finder and waiting till you see some fish on the fish finder to drop, you're probably not doing very well. You want to drive to those numbers. Those numbers are the exact numbers of the exact rockfish spot, where the rockfish live on that exact spot. I don't care if you mark them or not. You'd be surprised. You drop when it says zero, zero to go on your GPS. You drop right down on top of those numbers. You've got a very, very good chance of catching some nice rockfish. It's going to change what you catch if you still, and you know you can't use 10 hooks anymore. You're only allowed to use two hooks by law. And if you're using a lure on the bottom, then you can only have one hook above the lure because the lure has a hook on it. Like if you're using a hookup bait, are you using a carnata jig? Are you using it? any 
live deception, flash, any of those lures have a hook on them. So now you can only put one hook above that lure. And that's the only way you can fish. A lot of times when I'm fishing that deeper water rockfish, when we're out in seven, six, seven hundred feet of water, I'm using one or two live mackerel in a two or three pound weight. Because if I'm going to drop it down that deep, I don't want any of that small fish to eat my bait. I only want a big red. That's all I want is a big, big red. And he'll eat a mackerel all day, every day. You guys know that. Those of you that fish with me in those rockfish tournaments down in San Diego back in the day, you know we used to just wail on those big rockfish on the live mackerel. I just put a video out last week about how to fish the dropper loop with the live mackerel. You got to clip their tail. That's on that video we posted last week across all social media. You want to check all that out, gang. But this rockfish thing is super important to make sure that you're doing everything I talk about exactly how I talk about it. Just like everything on the website, gang. You can go to my website and you can harvest the thousands of spots. You can get all the spots. You can write down all the numbers. You can write down all the notes about how. But if you go there and you don't fish the way I teach you how to fish, with the right lure and the right hook and the right bait and all of that presented properly at the exact time that it all needs, then you probably will not be successful. Now, you know, I talk about this all the time. Your sister's brother's aunt's cousin does it this way. We don't care how they do it. The things I'm sharing with you are things I've learned over the 48 years of taking people fishing for a living. If you're getting fishing advice from someone who doesn't take people fishing for a living, why? My, my pops told me when I was a little boy, don't ever take financial advice from someone who doesn't own a jet. If they don't own a jet, you really don't care what they know about money, son. And he said, it. you don't want to take fishing advice from someone who sells other something other than how to take people fishing. If they're not involved in the act of taking people fishing for a living, and that's how they eat, and that's how they feed their kids, and that's how they buy their cars and send their kids to college, there's a pretty good chance you don't want to know what they know about fishing unless you're just starving for garbage information. Then gather up all the garbage you want. But the stuff I am sharing with you we have phenomenal amount of testimonials from people that actually participate in the act of doing it the way I suggest that catch fish every time they go. The people that don't like the website or don't understand are the people that are talking crap. They're the people that have never done it. They don't want it. They're lazy. They don't want to do the, the different things that it takes to be successful when they go fishing. So it's easier for them to bitch and complain about that. Oh, I don't like Dave's website because Dave says you have to do this in order to. You don't have to do anything. You can go out there and fail every single day. It's not going to change what Kelly and I eat for dinner. I promise you that tomorrow, Kelly and I are going to go catch a bunch of rooster fish because that's what I did with Frank. Frank and his fiance Rihanna day before yesterday. Some of you saw it live on Insta. I'm editing up all the videos. But the rooster fish fishing right now is absolutely insane in Cabo. And that's what Kelly and I are going to go do tomorrow. And it's full speed on the live bait. It's as fast as you can get the bait in the water. But the same thing is goes with that rockfish up in Southern California. Those spots that I give you, oh my gosh. If Chuck Annunciation and myself go and we go fishing on my skiff up there in Dana Point, and we go drop down on those numbers, we're going to knock the crap out of the fish because we're going to do it the exact same way. I've been doing it for 48 years and it works every single time. I don't understand why you want to reinvent the wheel. Why do you want to re your time is so valuable. A lot of you have a job and you have to go to your job every day and it's your day to finally get to go out fishing on your boat. And now you want to try it. Nobody's got the time. Now look at if you have some extra time in the summer and you got a vacation and you're going to go out on your boat and try to, figure out how to do this fishing thing, great.
but maybe you want to join a website where the guy's been fishing his whole life for a living and give you some pointers and steer you in the right direction at least. So when you go out there to figure it out on your own, you'll be able to figure it out on your own. Yeah, yeah, I love those guys. Figure it out on your own like I had to. Well, the guy's lying to you. He didn't figure shit out on his own. Uh-oh, all the kids get a free bag of jerky. I just cussed. Gang, a couple of things. The Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Show, the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th of March. Oh, my God, it's coming. It's coming so fast, you can't even believe it. It's going to be here quick. We are going to have a huge booth at the show. We're also going to be up on stage speaking every day. All four days, I'll be up on the stage speaking. It's going to be incredible. Those of you that have never seen me speak live, you're going to be blown away. You've never seen anyone do a seminar the way I do it. I promise you, you will not be bored. I promise you, I will offend you. I promise I offend everybody and I I will offend you. So make sure you're there. Get there early. Try to get a front row seat so you can try to heckle me so I can make you cry. But I'm telling you, gang, this thing is going to sell out. Yep, it will sell out. So make sure you get your tickets early for the Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Show on the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It's going to be insane. I will be there. There's going to be a phenomenal amount of people there. Lots of the high, high, high end vendors are all going to be there. This show will be incredible. It'll be jam packed. It's in Orange County. Easy access, 55, 405, 5, Pacific Coast Highway. People will be coming from every direction. Also, if you want to fly in from back east or something and come see the Dave Hansen Poop Show, you might want to check it out. Orange County Airport's like 10-minute drive from the fairgrounds where we're going to be speaking. It's going to be insane. The Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Festival. Look it up. Google it. Check it out. Gang, this swag we have, the shirts, the hats, the coffee cups. If you're thinking about getting some of that stuff for a family member or yourself for Christmas or New Year's or just for the holidays alone, go to our store, Your Saltwater Guide, the store. Check it out. Go to YourSaltwaterGuide.com and check out my store. Order up some shirts and hats and get all that stuff going so it's delivered to you before it's I'm telling you, if you don't know what's about to happen, the supply chain has been broken for over a year. It's going to be hard to get stuff the longer you wait. So don't be disappointed if you get December 15th, you decide, oh, I need to get a shirt from Dave. It probably won't be delivered to you on time. Maybe it will, but I wouldn't bet on it. Anything you're getting from Baja Jerky, from Promar, from Akuma, from... Ops and Floral Carbon, all the different companies that we deal with, ProTech Offshore, all those companies are going to have a shipping problem here real quick. The whole United States of America has got a shipping problem, whether you want to believe it or not. So you may want to get your stuff early, whatever it may be. If you're trying to get stuff for your family members for the holidays, I would just suggest getting it sooner than later. I'm just trying to help. But let's jump back into the rockfish thing one more time. You got to make sure you have enough weight. Gang, if you're fishing in 400 feet of water, I would not drop down with less than eight ounces. But more, normally I'd go with 12 ounces. I want to get straight down to those fish. I want to get there as quick as I can because, like I said, most of these spots are very, very small. And you're going to drift off them very, very quick. So you want to make sure that you're on them and that you're on them quick. And everything happens all at the same time. I don't know what happened to our Instagram feed. It just stopped. You want to make sure you're on there very, you're on those fish quick. You get down to the bottom fast. You get that that fish, and then you got to wind it back up and you got to start over again, gang. You can't just nilly willy drift out there in the middle of the ocean. You want to be on the spot. You, and the best way is to look at your GPS. It's going to tell you exactly how far off the spot you are. Make sure it's zeroed out. Make sure you got enough weight to get down to them. And night, once that wind starts to blow, it's going to start to get really, really, really hard to get on the spot. 
So you want to get out there and do it early in the morning before the wind starts to blow, then get out of there. But make sure you have spots. If you don't have any spots, go to my website, yoursaltwaterguide.com. You need the techniques, you need the spots, and you need the know-how. And you get all that at yoursaltwaterguide.com. Thank you all for being part of the show. Thanks for all that you do for Kelly and I. The phenomenal amount of views. The TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook views are unbelievable. Unbelievable. This month alone on Facebook, we're fastly approaching 9 million views on Facebook for 28 days. That's incredible. YouTube, you just saw that, 10 million views. None of this is possible without all of you. So thank you very, very much. We will keep doing what we do as long as you keep watching. I promise. Don't forget the Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Show. Don't forget to get some shirts and hats and coffee cups and stickers from your saltwater guide the store. Don't forget to buy somebody a gift certificate to my website for the holidays. Don't forget to go to Baja Jerky and order up some Baja Jerky and save 30% by ordering entering the code YSWG and the number 30. If you're having a problem with the rockfish and you're not a member of my website, can't help you. If you're a member of my website and you're having a problem, give me a call at 949-374-0786. And also, gang, listen, tomorrow night, if you're on our mailing list, our email list, you're all invited to the Zoom call tomorrow night. We're going to have a Zoom call. There's going to be a lot of people on it. We're going to go over the basics of how to use your saltwater guide, the website. There are so many things on the website that most people don't utilize that you're going to be blown away. If you want to see how it all works, you got that email. Make sure you're on that Zoom call tomorrow night. It's going to be fun. And we're going to help you to catch more fish when you go fishing. I need everybody's help to catch the last fish in the ocean. I've been trying for 49 years, and every night they restock the pond. All right, gang, your saltwater guide, Captain Dave Hansen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. We'll see you live from down in the marina because Kelly and I are going rooster fish fishing. Watch our live show tomorrow out on the water before we get to the Tiki Bar. We'll be doing the live show. This show will be at the Tiki Bar tomorrow at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But before that, hopefully I'm filming Kelly catching rooster fish live from the water. All right, gang, thanks for joining us today. See ya.